For God's sake, Vivi, you can't. This is my one chance of happiness, Morris, and I'm taking it, and I'll need the car. <laughs> Where are they? Is it too late? Why didn't you stop them? Who is this? Their marriage was a moment of celebration. Darling, we're going to get married, be broke. We may even starve. Absolute hell. I love you. I love you more than life itself. She was his inspiration. Yes? Without a shadow of a doubt. Any money or prospects? I have published one small book of poetry. His work was her entire life. Liz, have you seen my shoes? In my briefcase, where is it? I'm afraid they're gone. A great poet shouldn't have to work in a squalid little bag. He should be here writing poems where I can help him. Poor Vivian rushed you headlong into this. Did she tell you anything? Oh, um, nothing? Nothing at all? May I ask about the marriage? It was a bond she thought could never be broken. They love each other. I think I should tell you that your wife's condition will not improve. It may worsen. You do realize, of course, what she's doing to you, to your reputation. You're wrong. You're quite wrong. This whole way of going on is ridiculous. Stop it. Stop the play right the end of the walk. patient fails to understand her social position and her duty to society. A love that could never be ended. I haven't made her happy. Even while it tore them apart. T.S. Eliot is the greatest living poet in the English language. This is Vivian Eliot. Under the Lunacy Act, I'm obliged to take you away from here to a proper place of detention. What have we done? He has my undying love. He will have it until the last breath leaves my body. And he knows it. Don't let him 